Hey Plan Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle, it's my car. I don't know why I'm yelling, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I'm sorry, I can't breathe. I've been a little bit under the weather. Um, not sick or anything, just kind of like run down, fighting off a cold, not really like catching the cold fully. So I'm very congested and my asthma is just really bad when I'm like this. So I apologize for all the deep breaths <laughs> that you're going to hear me struggling with in this video. So I am in Concord, New Hampshire. I know you guys, I've never taken you here before. This is weird, right? But my cousin just moved up here from Texas, which you guys know if you've been watching my videos. And I'm here visiting for a few days. And while I'm here, I wanted to check out what they have in terms of plants up here in Southern New Hampshire. So today we're gonna hit up the Home Depot in the Lowe's in downtown Concord. And then there's another little nursery that's nearby that I am curious to check out. I don't know what they have in terms of house plants, but there's only one way to find out. So that is the plan. I think we're going to the Home Depot first, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go see what they have. Okay, you guys. So we're at the Lowe's in Concord, New Hampshire. And I lied to you. We have been here before. I pulled in the parking lot and I was like, wait, I've been here. Um, so if you guys remember really quickly, David and I go to Reptile Expo here in Manchester, New Hampshire pretty regularly when they have them. We've picked up a few of our babies from those expos and we usually head north from there up into northern New Hampshire um, where his kids are because a lot of the time we're heading up this way anyway and we tend to stop in Concord to eat Concord. I always say Concord. Concord. It's fine to eat so I actually know exactly where we are and we have been here before so let's go see what they have <laughs> okay, so the only thing is it's colder in New Hampshire so their garden center has been closed um, the garden center is in in Connecticut I think close in January but don't quote me so let's see what's going on <laughs> Okay, fam. So we are at the Lowe's in Concord, New Hampshire. It's kind of weird to say. And again, I apologize because I am a little sniffly and congested. So I probably sound crazy right now. But they did have what seems like a lot of plants, including this Dracaena White Aspen. So I previously have only seen these available with Costa Farms through their Trending Tropicals. So now they also have them in their Wick and Grow for $15.98. So if you've been wanting one, you can grab one for $5 less than what they are in those ugly Trending Tropicals pots. I do think they're really beautiful. It's a Dracaena. Like, you cannot kill this plant. This is also a Dracaena. I think it's called Janet Craig or something like that, but don't quote me. But yeah, Dracaena, you literally, I've tried to actually kill them and you can't. So... $16.98 for this lemon lime Miranda. I think they raised the price a dollar. They're usually $15.98. They also have some rainbow moss. This is Selanginella looking really cute and rainbowy. These larger baskets are $20. They also had some really beautiful full baskets of Syndapsis. This is the regular Syndapsis argirius, really stinking cute. They're a little bit on the thirsty side, but as long as you keep them well watered, very easy going, easy growing plant. They have some Tradescantia nanook, which I haven't seen in hanging baskets. They have some other Tradescantia varieties mixed in here. This is a different type of Selanginella. They've got some Marble Queens in here. I see some regular Golden Pothos, these Blue Star Ferns in front of me, and of course some Strawberry Begonias. All of the Norfolk Island Pines are on sale after Christmas. And then here we have our little Live Trends end cap over here. 
I said over here twice. It's fine. Everything is fine. I'm not tired. You're tired. So these ones are looking cute. This is the Xanthosoma Lindenii. They also have some ficus, this money tree, another Xanthosoma back here that honestly just needs water. Um, and it'll perk right back up. They've got some hanging baskets up here, some more of the rainbow moss, it looks like, and then they have some syndapsis, silvery and So this one is different than the other one I showed you. If you're confused as to why it's different, I can leave my video where I explain the difference between silvery Ann and the regular syndapsis argirius to you guys so that you can know what you're snagging in the store or just snag one over the other if you prefer one over the other and you don't need both. So this pot was $18.98 um, with the cute little feet. Definitely interesting. I like the snowman here with his scarf. Absolutely adorable. Nothing else really super exciting. They have some really sad trending tropicals, tetrasperma down here and some raffidophora hayi. Apparently this is where raffidophora go to die on this shelf right here so around the corner we have this little apobolus acuminatissima hiding in here reaching for the light but definitely looking better than some of the other ones i've seen and then honestly more of the usual stuff you guys except this looks really sad there are some desperate peace lilies back here that need water asap or they may not come back from this if they don't get water like today i think this is a syndapsis trubii or a, some sort of philodendron it's hard to tell because it looks so bad amplicimum silver don't even know i don't even know what some of these are supposed to be because they look so sad and so thirsty so just some regular assorted foliage here nothing really out of the ordinary, some bonsais, this cute Tritiscantia that I don't know the name of, Rex Begonia, some more Salanginella, and then they had this cute little Cebu Blue for $16.98. Then we just have some more hanging baskets, looking <laughs> pretty sad, not gonna lie. More bonsais, nothing to write home about on this side of the aisle. Over here we have some more Costa Farm stuff, some ficus hiding in there, nothing really exciting. Over here we have some more stuff from Live Trends. We have these cute philodendron moonlight that look okay, kind of, sort of, not really, but you know what, they're trying. They also had this alocasia silver dragon looking actually nice and full and pretty good which is surprising because it's an alocasia and like everything else looks pretty bad so i'm not sure uh, i'm not sure how this happened 25.98 for that one some more assorted foliage over here lots of marble queen some purple waffle all of these snake plants here in the wick and grow containers we've got some more assorted foliage from Costa down here. Nothing that we haven't seen before. And then what else? Some Calathea down at the bottom there. And uh, just more sad stuff, kind of. Some Pothos, Tritiscantia, more Salanginella. Nothing really good. They did have this little philodendron Brazil in this hanging basket. Here, another regular heartleaf philodendron that's not variegated. This one actually looks nice and full. Definitely not mad about that. $16.98 for these hanging baskets. They are pretty cute little hanging baskets as well. Some more philodendron Brazil back there. Dracaena, and then around the corner, we've got some Maranta, we've got some bamboo, some palms, more snake plants on the bottom, a couple of ferns, some golden pothos on the floor. Nothing 
you guys, nothing exciting. Syngonium hanging baskets here. Another lemon lime maranta. It looks like they put all the new stuff out on that table when we first walked in and the rest of this stuff is just like kind of sad and dying back here, which is unfortunate. They did have this orchid cactus in this hanging pot. These ones say $15.98, so they definitely did raise the price on the newer ones coming in this, I guess, for 2024. It's not technically 2024 yet, but almost. We are almost there. So I guess Costa Farms is raising their prices again this year, which is fun um, because they did that last year. They've done it every year since 2020, so... Yay! More syndapsis here. These are $5.98. They used to be $4.98 and they're probably going to go up to $6.98 before we know it. <laughs> so yay! Yay! Inflation! More syndapsis down here. More pothos. They did have some really cute polka dot plants. The botanical name for those is hypoestes. Some diphenbachia. Sorry, I'm always trying to catch my breath, you guys. <sighs> Let me know in the comments below if you've been under the weather. Have you caught this cold that everybody has? I know there's been some Rona variants going around that everyone's getting too. So feel free to complain about it in the comments because, girl, I can sympathize. So this is the clearance section. Nothing exciting going on there. No pottery that I see that I would want to snag. They did have this little pink princess here that has like a little bit of pink on it, but not a lot of pink on it. So I don't know if you can really even call it a pink princess. It's just a princess. And then they had these silver sword in these Wick and Grow containers for $15.98. A lot of them are definitely looking beet, but it is a very easygoing, easy growing philodendron. So if you wanted to propagate it, it wouldn't be the worst thing. That purple one was alocasia, not alocasia, calathea dotty. I'm fine. I do like the dotty. I think she's really pretty. They have some syndapsis trubii down here and more dotty in the dark where they're probably going to die. So monstera adansonii hanging out here. I do not know what Costa Farms is feeding their plants but these leaves are massive if you get them going up a pole asap they should stay pretty big for you if you don't get them going up a pole and you just let them continue to grow and trail the leaves will get smaller than this but you guys know i do love a good monstera adansonii i just don't have one anymore i've got an escaletto who um does not want to grow up the pole that i gave it but you know $22.98 for this Apobolus. This is definitely a really thirsty plant, but it is an absolutely gorgeous plant if you have the patience for it. Some more of these Moonlight Philodendron or whatever they are down here in these cute pots that I like with the ears on them from Live Trends. I think those ones are 25, maybe 22. I don't know exactly. I apologize. And then more of the same stuff over here. Some more Calathea more ferns, all of the cacti, nothing to get excited about in the slightest bit. But hey, you know, we tried. They also had this cute little live trends set up um, near the self-checkout. So I'm just giving you guys a quick peek at what they have here. They've got some succulents, they've got some syngonium, and apparently they've got new self-watering pots, which are kind of cute, but that's really it. Makoyana Calathea down here for $19.98 is actually a good price for that in that pot. Some pink dragon alocasia, and that is it for the lows. Okay, fam, so I can't decide if that was better or worse than Connecticut. I feel like it's just the time of year, honestly, but so many things in there needed to be watered. I have this bottle of water in my car that I was like low-key kind of mad I didn't bring but this wouldn't have been enough for all the plants that needed water like I was actually really tempted to walk up to the customer service desk and be like do you guys have like a water like water so I can water these plants like they're so they just need water and they'll be fine so that was Lowe's and Concord 
let's head over to the Home Depot and see if they've got anything better. <laughs> okay, fam. We're now at the Home Depot in Concord, New Hampshire. Still weird to say. I'm going to need to get used to that. <laughs> and right when we walk in, they have this cute little table set up with these peperomia here for $10 from Costa Farms. They've got some Fetonia, some ivy, some ferns, these beautiful lemon lime maranta hanging baskets for $19.98. I think that is an absolute steal when you get this cute pot and everything with it. Some more peperomia and then we have these little baskets of philodendron brazil. Absolutely adorable. You really can't go wrong with a heartly philodendron of any kind in my opinion. My favorite is my variegated heartleaf obviously but I love them all. So another Dracaena white aspen in this terracotta for $16.98. I think, yes, $20 are for these white pots. This cute philodendron from Proven Winners is $20. They've got some ferns, some alocasia poly, uh, some ficus hiding in there, some adansonii, Schifflera. These little baby ficus. These are really cute. Some snake plants for $7.98. Never mad about those because they come with a terracotta that has uh, no drainage. So, <laughs> okay. So over here, we've got some stuff from Proven Winners. They have this absolutely gorgeous, massive philodendron jungle boogie. I don't know about you guys, but I think this one is so cool. And it's so pretty and it's so healthy. They must have just gotten this in because honestly, it looks perfect. And I'm pretty sure these are $29.98 for these. And I'm just trying to get in here to show you this absolutely stunning Alocasia Stingray for $30, you guys. And it comes in this woven basket. A lot of these have babies popping out of the bottom as well. And these used to be so hard to find. You used to be able to maybe find little babies here and there, but this thing is massive and it's so gorgeous. And they definitely have more than one of each of these. They have more Jungle Boogie down here, more Stingray on top of the table. They've got different ficus varieties as well. And, um... I'm just like kind of in awe of that giant jungle boogie. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, so over here on this table, we've got our trending tropicals. They've got some lemon meringue, which I actually haven't seen in a while. And then they had this schismata glottis that I don't remember which type it is, but they are definitely a more thirsty plant. They had some white night philodendron with some sort of decent variegation on it. It looks like there might be some global green mixed in here as well. Um, more white knights, more schismata glottis in here. I was just trying to see if any of them looked halfway decent, but these lemon meringues are really pretty. Uh, they also have some dotty over here, some amplissimum silver behind it. I don't want to touch any because they've got bird poo all over them. We've got Aglionema Siam, uh, Snow something Aglionema with the white on it, and some CZ Ravens. We've got some what I thought was Baltic blue down here, but we'll come back around to it. Monstera Adansonii. And then back here, we've got some Pothos hanging baskets. I think these ones are around $12.00 some ferns on the table here they had some cute kind of sad looking micans some of them look okay most of them look kind of sad but they're still cute and some neon pothos lots of different dracaena varieties hiding in here they've got a philodendron birkin some orchids they've got some really cute hanging baskets over here as well these absolutely stunning syndapsis are even bigger than the other ones. These ones are $19.98 and they're so full and they're so lush and they're so beautiful and I love it. 
So I'm actually not a huge Syndapsis fan because I struggle to keep them well watered, but I do think they're beautiful plants. This was a Deschidia, but I'm not sure what happened to it. They have some orchid, cactus, hanging baskets here looking nice and healthy as well. And then behind me on the table here, they've got this Syngonia Maria hanging off the edge. And then this is when I realized that this is not a Baltic blue. I was like, wait, is this variegation? This is variegation. And then it dawned on me that this is actually an Epipremnum Panatum Albo Variegated, which I've never seen in the big box store before. So I just kind of glazed right over it, not even realizing what it was, but it's definitely looking a little bit sad, um, but it is an epipremnum, so it'll bounce back. It just needs a little bit of love. You can also propagate it, but I am pleasantly surprised to see the epipremnum panatum albo. So epipremnum is a pothos. They have another one down here. They're not super variegated. I haven't actually seen I haven't seen anybody talking about this or that they've been finding these. So let me know in the comments below if you have seen these pop up in your big box store. This is the first time I'm seeing them and they look like they've been here for a while because they're pretty beat. So I'd be curious to know if you've seen them around because I haven't seen them in Connecticut at all unless I've just like completely glazed over them and didn't know that they were Epipremnum panatum, but I have a hard time believing that. So some lemon meringue again down here. I'm just kind of sifting through everything to make sure that I am not missing anything because clearly I miss things sometimes, which is why I always say if I skip over anything that you guys wanted to know about, just leave me a timestamp down below and I'll do my best to help you out and get your question answered. But a timestamp a time stamp helps. I can talk so that I know what you're talking about. So this is the Hoya Wayetii, and I am not mad about finding this in a big hanging basket here as well. I was debating whether or not I should snag one. They have three hanging here, and they're all pretty full and healthy. I may need to go back for one on my way home, you guys. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you are looking for Wayetii, because then I'll definitely snag it for you guys um i do still have some chelsea that i need to pot into smaller containers so i'm happy to snag some moyetii and pot it down a little bit just to make it easier to ship and that we can share share the wealth with everybody so i'm still just like dumbfounded by the epipremnum obviously <laughs> so over here on this table we've got some of the same stuff some aglionema lots of snake plants hiding in here some Norfolk Island pines. Then we've got some pretty sad peace lilies on the table, some anthurium, lots more pothos. To the left here, we have our floor plants. We've got a lot of these really beautiful Diphenbachia. I think the variegation on these is really cool. I do not keep Diphenbachia. Oh my gosh, I can't speak today. It doesn't help that I can't breathe either. <laughs> $26.98 for these. I do not keep Diefenbachia in my home. It is the only plant I will not keep in my home because house plants in and of themselves are not poisonous to your pets. I repeat, house plants will not kill your pants, your pants, your plants, your, <laughs> your pets. Oh my goodness. It is time for me to go to bed, you guys. There's some ficus and stuff over here, but the Diefenbachia will make your pet's mouth numb, which can cause problems. So no single house plant will kill your pet. If they eat it, it'll just make them sick, but the Diefenbachia will make their mouth numb because it is higher in oxalates than other plants. So you want to be careful with that, but do not live in fear, I promise you. If your cat or your dog or your kid or something nibbles on your plants, they will be fine. Even if it's a peace lily, they will be fine. So they've got some clearance over here, which is not usual for Home Depot. Sometimes proven winners will put their stuff on clearance, though. I don't usually see any other 
brand putting their stuff on clearance, but I was kind of tempted by this ficus because I want to give it a chop and um, repot it down lower into the pot, but David would not be happy with me if I brought home a big ficus, no matter how much it costs. This alocasia was fine. The rhizome is intact. It feels firm and healthy, so it just needs a little bit of love and it'll grow some new leaves. We've got cyclamen on the table here, some more alocasia or anthurium rather because my brain is not braining. We've got some pencil cactus over here. I'm pretty sure this is a euphorbia for $24.98. But like, don't come at me if it's not a euphorbia. Somebody got mad at me one time. They were like, you shouldn't guess. And I'm like, well, I am guessing because I don't know what plant it is. So, and it's not like I said, this is what plant it is. I said I didn't know what it was. So it's not that deep, Susan. Anyway, cute little Rex begonia hanging out over here. I was kind of eyeballing this one because I was like, would this look cute in one of my gecko enclosures for $5.48? But also, I don't need it. So I put it back. Some more assorted stuff down here, different succulents, cacti, painted cacti, if you're, I don't know, what kind of person bought, I've never seen anybody buy those. Let me know if you know anybody who's ever bought a painted cactus, because I just want to know, I just want to know what goes on inside the brain of these people. Um, purple passion plant. Some of these ones definitely look healthier. Like I said, I think they just put their new ones over here and we're like, screw it. We'll just only water these and like neglect the other ones. But I genuinely, I'm just assuming. Ah, this video is a mess, isn't it? Anyway, <laughs> still eyeballing that begonia. They have this cute Pilea in here and just trying to show you guys like some different stuff. I always gravitate towards the same plants So I apologize For that I do try to mix it up, but I can't help it. You know, I like what I like like this paper spine cactus Super weird. I've got a couple of those at home and I really like them so never mad about that and Just some weird weird little cacti going on in here. Nothing special but I do like to check all the fake flowers, and um, that's it for Home Depot. <sighs> okay, fam, so that was the Home Depot in Concord, New Hampshire, and I definitely think that the Home Depot is better. I've also been here before, and they had some decent stuff, definitely healthier stuff. Those Wayetti Eye hanging baskets were tempting, girl, let me tell you. I may go back for them before I head back to Connecticut. This is literally on my way. So, like, if I want to go back for something, I'll just go back for something. That little begonia was cute, too. I thought for, like, Norman's enclosure, maybe a little begonia. But I don't know. I'm just, like, not in the mood to buy anything today either because I don't know. But those epipremnum panatum elbows, like... I knew that Costa was coming out with them, and I just, like, kind of forgot. And I, I glanced at them and thought they were Baltic blue. And then I was like, wait, this one's variegated. And it's, it doesn't have the fenestration. It's like the Baltic blue. They are both epipremnum. I think the Baltic blue is a panatum, if I'm not mistaken. It has those, like, elongated leaves like a panatum. But, you guys... If you've been looking for an epi elbow, I mean, they're definitely easier to find now, like online. They're cheaper than they were before, and like I get, I've gotten them from like my grower before. But I, uh, I've never seen them in a big box store, so that was interesting. They still had a lot of uh, the meringue, lemon meringue. I haven't seen those in a while. The schismata glottis all of that. Let me know if you guys saw anything that you would have snagged. Let me know which one you thought was better, the Home Depot or the Lowe's. I am going to head over to another garden center, but I'm going to leave this video here and I'll decide if I'm going to film over there once I get there, if they have anything worth filming. And I'll just do that in a separate video. Just for me and my brain, it's easier to separate out like the big box stuff from the other stuff. So... You may or may not see another video. At the very least, I'll film like little 
shorts just to kind of give you guys a peek so you're not completely in the dark but that will be the end of this video you guys i hope you enjoyed this big box plant shopping trip in concord new hampshire we do plan on moving up here sometime in the near future so it's good to have some time to kind of check the place out and see what's around so if you guys are in southern new hampshire definitely drop your plant shopping recommendations down below i've already got a list so stay tuned i am definitely going to be hitting up some of those places soon but for any reason um if you have any other suggestions that i haven't heard of like house by the side of the road um there's another spot up in laconia that i want to check out so there's definitely things i'm sure to be discovered and if you guys are around here obviously i would love to know since like i said i will be moving here soon so I need to know what I'm getting myself into. And that is it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me. If you did, you should definitely give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. Come January, we'll have more members-only videos back again. So if you like more personal stuff, you want to see some more behind the scenes of my life, that is definitely um, a good way to do that and also support me and my channel. So hopefully we'll be getting some inventory as well so you guys can buy stuff from my plant shop. Um, I just need to figure out where I'm going to get some inventory from for you guys. So... <laughs> I love you so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to drink your water. Don't forget to spread kindness. Wow, I did it backwards. Oh my gosh, my brain. <laughs> you guys, my brain. If you watch this whole entire video too, you should leave me um, some mountain emojis in honor of New Hampshire and all of its mountains. So let me try this again. Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to drink your water. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.